last week do you remember we or no it was this week right um the video about arthritis oil and how you make arthritis oil and how it helps your arthritis and everything and we promised you did we that we make another video more or less a follow-up um for a special cream and yeah we want to first say hello this is Ute. Nice and to see us all back again. Hi. <laughs> and Ken, so you know we are both here. He's not just behind the camera. So today um, we figured out there is something special for um, gout, what we say in, in Germany, Rheuma. And gout, as we said in the last video, is something you can easily, kind of easily fix with changing your diet. Um, but we found a special, my miraculous, I want to say, herb. And it's called ground elder or in AKA you said gout weed, which is already telling you what the weed is for the herb. So gout, and this is what we are using it. And we want to make a gout cream. What we did, we did infuse in olive oil, <laughs> good olive oil. We infused gout weed and Today, I dive into the world of herbal remedies and put this yeah, miracle wonder plant um, to the test for your joint pain and your gout relief. You want to say something? <laughs> <laughs> Coming secretly to the stage. Now, today, okay, stay to the end, get everything, and I will not forget to put the recipe down at the end. But I will not be able to show you because we didn't prep one in front to show you how to use it. But remember, as putting it on as the what's the therapist called again physiotherapy Physio physiotherapist said <laughs> always to the body to the heart okay <laughs> so okay that that was an important interruption here <laughs> so the wonder i don't want to say miracle miracle <laughs> i want to say the miracle wonder. miracle here it is miracle the miracle <laughs> plant um i want to talk about is packed with powerful compounds that have been shown to reduce inflammation, easy, uh, easy your pain and even repair damaged um, tissue. And as I said, we are talking about gout wheat or ground elder herb. You can let it grow in your backyard or in your front yard. It's like it's growing like buckleweed all over the place if you do not control it like a weed. And yes, I will be using it. So in future videos, I'll let you know how it's going. But our Rhyma oil, our arthritis oil, okay, I've been using that for a long time. And I can say, confess, yes, 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 it's very good. So now let's see the next step. Because as I said by the last video, please check it out if you haven't seen it. I do have gout. I know that. <laughs> So we, I, I, I think we don't even know if it's, I mean, it's definitely arthritis in your fingers. Yes. And maybe we came to the conclusion it is gout in your knee, right? Yeah. Because yeah. the um, tissue is hurting. The tissue is hurting. And what I made, I made a little bottle of this gout oil to give it to Ken so he can start using the oil. Um, on his knee and he's doing this since now he's not here anymore I think three days now and he said it's the pain is getting better but we want to see how it works with the cream so we are using here again the gout wheat oil infused in olive oil and I have here a smaller um, pad, patch batch <laughs> so this is a half a cup of the gout wheat infused in olive oil and 30 grams of beeswax. So we put everything in the broiler, in a double broiler, and let it combine together. And this is, as I said, um, what we are doing now, what Ken a little bit said, and you are wondering why here all these different things. Um, herbalists like to make experience on the yeah, on the information I have in my mind and the things I learned about herbs and the herbs you can combine with each other. So what I want to do this here, what I'm stirring right now will be, as I said, the gout cream. What I want to do, and this is the part you see here, as I said, because I'm a herbalist and I like to play around with herbs. Um, I want to go and mix the gout oil 
together, half and half, with what we did last time, the arthritis oil. So I want to mix half and half these two oils for um, together and I want to create and I want to see if it works. Ken is already excited. He want to try. That's why I have here the plastic pot so he can play around with it. Um, what I think what I'm creating, what I know what I'm creating with t these two oils, infused oils together is um, a cream which would help with your gout and or arthritis. So because sometimes you don't even know is it really arthritis like Ken said with his knee or is it maybe some kind of arthritis with um, with gout. So I will call this cream what I'm creating when this is done. Um, I have to read it because that's a combination between gout and arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis cream. So Ken will definitely go ahead and test it for at least a week or so to see if it's really more powerful than just the gout cream or just the normal arthritis oil. So he will check it out on his knee and we will see the results as soon he, as I said, tested it for a week or so. And I told him, because I'm the master herbalist, I said to him at least three times per day, get this cream, what, first of all, the gout cream, put this three times per day on your knee. And then he wanna switch when this is done because as I said, the oil is already showing some kind of a result. Um, he want to use then the stronger version, what I'm showing you later on. So this is now the gout cream. Everything is combined and you just fill it up in your jar. We are using here two ounce jars. Stop. And now I want to go ahead what I told you, my experience. Experiment. Experiment. Yeah, I said um, we, we herbalists, we try to play around with herbs and combine things where you normally not think about. So as I said, what I have here is half of the gout oil and half of the arthritis oil. And again, we put it in the double broiler. And this is now a cup together. And then I have here 60 gram of beeswax and this will be now my experiment experiment <laughs> <coughs> sorry <clears throat> and we don't know the results but as i said from my um knowledge about herbalism i think this should be a really really powerful cream when i combine these and these together for one cream it will help for your arthritis it will help for your gout and as i said because sometimes you don't even know what is it now is my pain arthritis or is it gout or so maybe this will be then a solution for you to have a cream which helps you either or and it's really strong because i put them both together but no results results yet because you need to okay i'm talking behind the camera i can need to go ahead and um check it out as I said, you already used the oil for a couple of days. Yeah, and that's really been working good. So what I realized was, it. Uh, so I have normally this standing pain, not from standing, but it, the pain is always there. Permanent. Permanent pain. But when I put it on, immediately the pain was numb. It wasn't there anymore. And it really helped me sleep good. Now, getting up in the morning, I'm very careful because I don't want to overdo anything and everything but it seemed to work good. I've only put it on before I go to bed now. I will be trying it a couple times. And as I said, till I can say perfectly, yeah, this really works, okay? It could take a week and a half to two to really, that you know the difference. And that's the same thing I'll do here with the cream. But don't forget to check out our other videos, okay? <laughs> you know, the cold season is coming. So I think it's a couple videos before where you can make your own homemade like, like, Vapor rum? Big vapor rum. Well, you don't say that word. <laughs> Wait, uh -huh. You know, the yeah. green ones where it smells like Blue. eucalyptus? Yeah. <laughs> yes. We have a homemade recipe for you there too. Check that out, please. So now my special mixture here, which is the experiment, experiment, experiment. First of all, I will, I will put the plastic one for Ken because he is trying it out. And then I want to fill the rest in the two ounce jars. Maybe you asked me, yeah, she said she he wanna try it first and now she's filling up the jars for the shop. I know 
what I'm doing, and I know this will be very, very helpful and beneficial for, beneficial for you. But as always, we like to have the proof, the physical proof, and this is at this time Ken again, um, the physical proof that it's really working, that I'm not just talking and talking and talking. And then you said, hey, yeah, lady, you don't have a clue. Yes, we have. <laughs> so now we have, as I said, the main thing is just for gout is the gout cream, which helps your gout and your pain and everything. And then our experiment or my experiment when I mix these two together and make a cream out of it. I will have it on the website or in the at the Mystic Fest, I guess, right? Mystic Fest. Next weekend is the Mystic Fest. We will definitely have this with us. And at this time May can already have some um results when he used it, either or, but trust me, this will be a perfect, perfect um herb cream and a game changer for those suffering from joint pain and gut or arthritis. All right. So today I have to say <laughs> I'm not your doctor. I'm your master herbalist and I or Me we either. <laughs> <laughs> will not give you any medical advice. Um, what we are giving you is our own experience and experience from the customer, from friends, family. So, but if you have really deep question and you don't want to trust the herbalist, go to your doc doctor and ask for advice. Other than this, la 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 like and subscribe <laughs> to our youtube channel and don't forget next weekend mystic fest oh yeah that's council bluffs cool. in iowa yeah and this is a well when you see this video it'll be that weekend exactly that weekend yeah it's it's coming out i guess in eight o'clock saturday and we are already there then at the mystic fest so I watch the video and jump to your car and come to the mystic fest <laughs> okay okay by the mid america center in iowa yeah it's I should. I think it's known by now. The Mystic Fest is very, very not, popular. All of, not all the way around the world. In the meantime, <laughs> we have a lot more subscribers from a lot, uh, from everywhere. We thank you all very much and welcome you all for for joining our channel. We have even <clears throat> um, customers right now from Europe, and then we have to explain because we explained this more than once. Some of the herbs we cannot, you cannot get in Europe, or the other way around, you can get herbs in Europe. They are not allowed here in America. So it's always some kind we can and we have to talk to you not just go ahead and say okay i will get this oh i don't get it in germany for example say yeah mm, sorry and we cannot ship it out to germany because it's not legal but do leave us any notes below and everything if you are from another country okay we did the research too for england from ireland from germany to where they could find the product in their own country or where they could even buy it in their own country because as Uta just said, we cannot ship it from here. Certain products we are not allowed to ship. We would love okay, to. would love to, but the other lands or countries countries say too. Oh no, you can't bring that in. And then, I mean, it's possible. A lot of times now, ninety percent we found what you would need in your own country. So yeah. write us a note below. Let us know, and we'll help you. But till then, to our next video. Love, love and light. light. Ute and Ken from Ute's Corner. Wow. <laughs>